There's of course no pretending that church groups have been anywhere near as well organized publicly as the medical community, um, but they haven't all been silent either. So some of the heads of the national churches have written letters to Jason Kenney, um, who was the minister at the time of the cuts, and now to Minister Chris Alexander. There have been letters to the editor from different church groups, and some churches have encouraged their members to contact their MPs with their concerns about these cuts. Also, just a few days before the cuts were to take effect in 2012, um, Hospitality House Refugee Ministry in Winnipeg and the Anglican Diocese of Rupert's Land actually um, sued the federal government for breach of contract, the contract being their sponsorship agreement. This, however, was not successful. Um, also in that year, in 2012, at the Sponsorship Agreement Holders Association meeting, um, the different representatives from sponsorship agreement holders across the country pushed the federal government to reveal the actual amounts of the different claims, the health claims that had previously been covered. Um, number one, I assume, so that they could show how ridiculous it was for them as volunteers to have to cover these costs. Um, but number two, so that they would actually have a sense of the type of bills that might be heading in their direction um, with the changes. So the government did agree to release these numbers, um, but several months and even an access to information request later, um, these numbers have not been seen yet. So during this time, actually, in 2012, uh, Minister Jason Kenney actually said that the churches can stop getting so upset about uh, how much the health costs are going to be because the average health costs are only $170 a year, um, <laughs> if that was really the case. Joe recommended that maybe the minister could have covered them, but um, <laughs> the churches knew that the average cost is actually very irrelevant because churches aren't paying the average cost with every refugee that they sponsor. Uh, they could potentially be on the line for some major outliers that actually bring up that average.